my little beauties it's your girl tandy here and i hope you're having a wonderful day and girls and boys i am so excited because guess what <laughs> i'm actually going to be doing beauty on my beauty channel so anyway, the reason that I have yet to have actually ever done beauty on my beauty channel is because I didn't have bank, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have coin, I didn't have cheddar, I didn't have ka -chings. no. So it's hard, it's really hard in these streets guys. It's really been difficult for me to really delve into beauty the way that I've really wanted to. Um, but the turnabout face, the, the miracle, the blessing that has been stowed upon me. Um, basically, it's my 40th birthday this year. It's my 40th birthday. Um, I've been broke for, <laughs> been broke girl for very many years. With my 40th birthday and my family, especially my brother, he blessed me with some money. Now, this money was actually supposed to be for um, a trip to South Korea. I love, I really know how much I want to go to South Korea and then Corona happened obviously and so I ain't going anywhere and I thought to myself why, why just sit around and feel you know sad that I'm not you know sitting in a trendy beautiful little cafe eating tteokbokki, eating you know, you know fried cheese corn dogs <laughs> So I thought to myself, you know what? No, I'm going to treat myself to something this year, especially guys, because it has been like on top of the pandemic, it's been a terrible year for me. Literally, I have had two surgeries this year. One of them was an emergency surgery. When it was when it was literally my 40th birthday, I was I was a week out of I was I was a week post op and I was on severe medication. So I was like I couldn't drink, I couldn't enjoy, I couldn't do anything. So literally, like, on top of all of that, one of the main reasons I ever wanted to do beauty is because I just don't know anything about it. I literally know nothing about beauty. Let me tell you, girl. Let me tell you. The tea. I am a 40-year-old woman who has never truly owned makeup or beauty products. I mean, I literally consider treating myself using sheer moisture hair products and cocoa butter listen it's what it is i've had the coin all the interest because let's be real let's be real about the foundation shades that you know as a 40 year old woman i was i was shopping in the early 90s and let's be really honest because i never got into wearing makeup because when i went into the shop what did i find I did not find my shade, okay? I found something that was ashy and light or just red, just basically red. And you're like, these drugstores really, really trying to have me out here looking like Casper the Ghost. And I was just like, uh-uh, it's okay, I'll just go barefaced. And to be honest with you, it served me well. I'm not even gonna lie to you and say that I've had even a hankering. It's more of a desire than like, oh, I need to cover this or cover that. Now, when we actually talk about my face today, as opposed to maybe 10, 15 years ago, I have a lot more blemishes. I have pores in my nose. I also have a condition called polycystic ovarian syndrome. There's loads of different, you know, terrible symptoms from it. Now for me, it's mainly weight gain and also hair. So I get hair on my face, on my top of lip and on my chin. Now the top of lip, the top of my lip isn't so bad, but as you know, as you know, the, the icing on the cake is that I get um, hairs growing on my chin. Now the hairs growing on my chin are like single strand, but they always seem to be ingrown hairs and cause spots and leave, as you can see, scarring. And to be honest with you, my face is kind of sensitive, so I have to be careful of what I put on my face because I can break out if I load my face with products that it doesn't like. So I've never really just got into it. Now, as much as I've never got into it and I never really needed it, I wanna, I, I, I wanna play around and I wanna have a beat. I've never, ever in my life done a full face of makeup on myself. I've had them done before, 
Um, last time I had a full face of makeup done was for my Sainsbury shoot. If you guys don't know, I'll put the video, the link here now. But if you guys don't know, yeah, I did this, um, I did a shoot for um, Sainsbury's magazine, which is a, um, a, a store here, a supermarket. And that was literally the last time that I ever did, I ever had somebody or ever wore a full face of makeup. I've never done before. I've never owned a foundation or a concealer. I literally, when I do my videos, it's eyeliner and lip gloss and a little bit of like a dark darkening of the brow. That's it. It's been me for the past 40 years. So I thought, you know what? It's a new day. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. I do have some little areas that, you know, you know, just, you know, you know, you know, I, I want to keep it light still. I'm not, I'm not going to be wearing makeup every day. I'm going to play in it. I want to be able to do my, uh, to learn how to do my, um, a full beat on my face. I want, you know, I mean, I want to get like a very fresh place glow going on. I want to get into beauty products. I want to get into self care. I don't take care of myself enough or at all. Can anyone else relate? And it's time. I mean, literally all we're doing is sitting around and being sad. Um, and I was just like, no, I'm going to take this opportunity and use that money. And I'm going to buy products that are quality. I'm going to treat myself. I'm going to just, you know, live my life like it's golden. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, come on. So, yeah, guys, on that note of shining bright like a diamond. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Miss Rihanna and she's just the, this is the tea the tea really is guys that uh, Rihanna came through Rihanna came through she came through for the girls for the girls and the boys she came through she came through with 50 shades put everyone to shame put everyone to sleep found everyone sleep and said knock knock who is it oh nana oh what's my name she came through and I was like you know how I'm gonna break my foundation cherry? Is with Rihanna's Fenty Fenty Beauty. So guys, yeah, my first foundation ever in life is going to be a Rihanna Fenty. So yeah, this video is really gonna be me testing the shade that I bought, because I did buy a shade. Is that shade correct? Because in Corona, unfortunately, you cannot test. There is no testing going on, so, I, um, the first thing that I actually did was go onto the website. Now, we, thank God, Rihanna uh, and the, her team decided to put a shade match kind of little questionnaire to help you get around the area that you should be in. I ain't gonna say it's um, exact, but it's definitely in the ballpark. So at least you know where to start, especially if you cannot swatch at all. And so literally the first questions, as you can see, they, they, they ask you some really easy questions, ask you kind of like what, um, what, what, what your under, what do you think, what do you feel your undertones are, you know, the colours of your veins, do you tan, do you burn, um, all of these questions and you answer. And so this is my result. This is what um, I finally decided. So I'm, I thought, I'm, I, I really feel like I was somewhere between um, the, the, the darkest of the tan and the, the beginning of deep. I was somewhere in there and I, I have been watching videos and videos of, of everywhere from 385 to 420. Like I thought to myself, that is the range. That's where I'm in. I mean, somewhere between 385 and 420. And I was watching so many videos, but it's so difficult to tell skin tone and undertone from watching the videos. Like, does she look like me? Does she look like me? Am I a little bit darker around the edge? I don't know. It's terrible. All oh, my days, it was a lot. It was a lot. It was difficult. So, so I finally decided, like, somewhere between 385 and 420, but I was going to go down to the store. So I actually went to um, the big Westfields, the big shopping centre, um, which is close to me. So I went down there to try and at least colour match from a box um, on a shelf that I, I was able to do in with, with this situation so now i'll just show you some of the clips of me going to um westfields unfortunately um i got told off for filming inside there so i have a very random messed up clips but i just wanted to show you that i was there and what i was faced with so yeah those were the clips that i took um obviously they were a little random a little dodgy um, but yeah, so now is for the big reveal. Um, let us check out what is in my beauty bounty box um, and see what shade I actually did choose. Four hundred. 
110. Now, off of the bat, this is me in the shop. Is it me? Isn't it me? Somebody help me, please. And I haven't tested it. I am so scared that I am gonna come out here looking like a ghost faced killer. Looking like Casper 2.0. Low. Woo! This is gonna be an expensive mistake. I have not put this on my face yet because I wanted to do this video. And even if I did, I couldn't take it back because, girl, that is your fault for buying the wrong shade. And girl, I am on a budget, like I have spent my money wisely, but yeah, I can't, if, I, if this is wrong, girl, I better hope I can contour my way out of that. Anyhow, let's get on and see if it's my shade. I love Rihanna's packaging. It's so sleek and stylish and like, Mmm, sexual. Look at me. Mwah. Anyway, and um, as I said to you, me know nothing about application of makeup. So, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to obviously test it. I'm going to test it using two methods. I'm going to test it using um, this slightly. Oops. Baby. So I'm going to test it using this um, slightly damp uh, beauty brush. Um, I've never used. Sorry. See, I call it a beauty brush. This is what I'm telling you. A beauty blender. I've never used one in my whole life. The tea. And then also on the other side of my face, I'm going to apply it with, um, this is the Spectrum um, uh, B01 foundation brush. Um, and yeah, this is actually a beautiful set that I'm going to review. It's a really beautiful set. I'm gonna review it in another video and it's actually gonna be in a Christmas video. So if you are interested in seeing a full review of these brushes, then um, please hit that subscribe button now. Um, hmm, okay. First step. Okay, so I have moisturized, I've cleansed and moisturized my face like I suppose I actually really wanna watch a YouTube video because I really have no idea whether I'm supposed to put this on my face on my do I put it do I put it here and then dab into it or do I put it on my face girl bye I don't know okay I'm gonna put it on here and then my face um please guys don't come for me don't come for me please because I don't know what I'm doing okay so let us see first oh girl how do we open this okay up oh nice and it's got a little pumpy thing um okay you know what i'm gonna do you know what i'm gonna do you know what i'm gonna do okay i'm gonna just pump it on a little bit onto my face and see whether this is okay no 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 okay girl bye okay i'm gonna pump it on my hip on here okay let's just do i don't know how many pumps are. okay squeeze it squeeze we working Oh, okay. Need a little, get a little. Ooh, child. Okay. Maybe two pumps? Two pumps? Is that what people do? Those are the two pumps, as you can see. It's looking. I don't know. Um, okay, so I'm going to start on this side of my face. I'm going to do half of my face. Um, let's start with the Beauty Blender. Actually, let's just start with my finger. I, I really just want to see. Let's just cover. See how it works in this area here. See how it covers this. Ooh, girl. Ooh. I can't even. Oh, but it actually is disappearing. Listen, you must be mad at me. And in my life, I have never bought a foundation. In my life, the first foundation I get 
you telling me the first foundation I get, I bought this blind, praise you God, I bought this blind. Are you telling me that this is a real, this is a real match? That is a, wow. Guys, that is a real, that's a real match. When I put it on, it's like, girl, is that me? Okay, do you know what? Let's just get into this. Okay, so the beauty is it's slightly damp, is what I heard. I'm gonna put it in, and then I, I guess this. Am I, am I doing this? Is this correct? Something. Wow, guys, it's like it just disappears. And I'm guessing that's a good thing. I mean, yeah, you mean you see this thing going on my face there. And then it just blends to nothing. Girl. Okay, let me go a little heavier and see. Because, girl. As I said to you guys, please don't come for me about my techniques here. This is pure novice status. Like, you're not doing it really. No, I'm not doing it really. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so literally half of my face has got the, the makeup on and half of it doesn't. And quite frankly, I can't tell the difference. I mean, I can tell the difference. What are you doing? I know you're supposed to go into the neck and get her done in that neck area so that you all the same shade, girl. But then, to be true, like it's my shade. It's like it's just me but like smoother and I can definitely tell I can put more and more and more on but I am baffed I am baffed guys that I managed to on my first time ever in my life buying foundation get such a match for me like you see this thing coming on my skin that is my very very first application of foundation onto my face and girl I am a girl I am so like girl uh, girl I've got another little camera here and I'm like girl hi hi it's me just a little smoother oh hi it's me just smooth oh so the next I'm gonna next part I'm gonna do with the brush and see if there is any difference because this just blended like anyway let's let's see what happens here let's see so I did two pumps on that side so I did two pumps on this side is that too much like help me out guys you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just put it on put it on my face like this and then blend it Is two pumps too much? Should I be using more? Should I be using less? Guys, please get into the comments and just give me your tips. I need all the tips. You can see what I'm going through right now. I am new, brand new. So, yeah, I don't know how to use this. I, I wet it because I heard somebody say maybe you should wet it, but let's see. What do you stipple? Or do you, do you swirl or do you stipple? Swirl, stipple, swirl. Swirl, stipple. Oh, okay. Well, first thing I noticed is that it's a lot more product on my face. I guess they were very correct about the beauty blender soaking up product because that two pumps actually seems a little too much. A little bit 
too much to put on. But it blends to nothing. It literally just is my skin tone. Gotta give the eyes. We're in the test, we're going into the wrong side. And get the neck and the chin. Guys, actually, I heard they're supposed to do the ears as well. Guys, 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 I've done that. My first foundation application. So there it is guys, half of my face with the brush and the other half with the blender. Guys, 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 I am living, I am living, especially in this little camera here, I am like, that is airbrush, that is smooth, that is me, but even toned. Like I didn't really, I don't really suffer with too much, too much, too much um, discoloration on my skin. As it just an, obviously under the chin. And if you can see how it works under the chin, I'm just covering these blemishes. I could actually also maybe conceal. But I've never used a concealer before. We'll see uh, how that goes and maybe I could conceal the area if I didn't want to wear a full face of makeup maybe. I mean to be honest with you, this is so my skin tone. Let me actually just see on my chest. I actually think my chest is a little lighter than my face. I think it is. I think it's a tiny, tiny bit lighter than my face. Or maybe it's just the light. Girl, it even gives me a little, it even brings out my natural peachiness in my cheeks. Girl, I love it. What? Fight me. Get in the comments below, let me know how, let me know about Fenty, let me know, do you, do you find your perfect shade? in the Fenty, um, what was your experience? So tell me, tell me your horror stories, come on, lay it on me, tell me, girl, you know how many sun foundations I had to go through to find my shade? Tell me about it, I deserve it, like, I, th this was too much of a blessing, like, sorry, uh, yeah, so get in the comments and tell me your horror stories, let me know, let's, let's talk, let's talk, vent, vent to me, I don't understand, but I'll listen, anyway, guys, I love you so much, um, Next up in my series, um, I'm going to be doing Christmas. Christmas is coming. And so I'm going to be doing a Christmas um, gift re reviews. So I've, as I said to you, I was lucky enough to gift, to have a, to have a gift for my brother. So I've been able to use that uh, money to buy, buy lots of nice things for myself. So I'm going to review it all because I feel like it will make a nice rundown of some Christmas gifts. And um, also I've got a lot more from Miss Fenty Beauty, Miss Rihanna. I've got a lot more products to review from her. So check out, please subscribe, please share, share my, <laughs> share and tell your friends. Look at this girl. Never bought a foundation, walks into one shop one time and buys it. Perfect shade. Look at her. I deserve it. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Yes, my beauty channel has arrived! So this is my final look, guys. I'm so happy with it. Um, it really turned out really beautiful um, and surprising. Um, I, as you can see in the front, I made four plaits instead of five or 